fellow citizens of the United States of America. Dear brothers and sisters, we stand upon the brink of destruction. Our United States of America has put into motion a series of atrocities toward our people, us, the people of America. In the past few months we've seen a bill dedicated to censoring our internet and stopping the free flow of ideas, speech, and freedom across the board. This will make us no better than China, Soviet Russia, or Iran. This will not only weaken us as a free-thinking country, but will allow the idea of censorship to spread. For centuries we have been the ideal of freedom for other countries around the world, and now we intend to spread fear and injustice to our neighbors. Also on the list of our government's atrocities is the passing in Congress of a new bill. A bill which will allow our government to detain anyone they see fit, indefinitely. From the inception of our country, we have fought to preserve our freedoms both abroad and at home. This is simply an excuse to detain our citizens for disagreeing with the government or a multitude of other reasons. I come to you today not as anonymous, not as a hacker or an activist or an occupier. I come to you today as a citizen of the United States of America. My name is Ryan. I'm a citizen of the United States of America. I'm a taxpayer in Portland, Oregon, and have worked my entire adult life for what I have, which isn't much. I came into the workforce during this depression imposed upon us by injustice. I've not known anything but the disparity which is forcing my friends and family into poverty. I count myself among the lucky to have a job which allows me to live a life paycheck to paycheck. I'm not a politician, nor do I hold much interest in politics as a whole. And I'm not here to support a group of hacktivists. I'm the same as you. Your neighbor, your brother, your best friend. Rich, young, poor, old, we are humans. We live in a country which is owned by us. Our government should fear us. We should never fear our government. I found a quote which I'd like to share with you today, something which has inspired me. First, I was a Republican. Then I realized I'm too intelligent or rational. Then I was a Democrat. Then I realized I'm too reasonable and understand how the economy works. Then I decided I no longer care about an obligatory system of two equally flawed political systems, a political agenda or appeasing a higher power. I decided that I care about my fellow man, their rights, opinions, and happiness. I decided that I had a dream, a system of equal representation that reflects the best interests of what is best for people as a whole. Not a democracy, not a republic, not socialism, not communism, not corporatism, not monarchy, not capitalism, but democracy. We are equal. We are not all entitled, but responsible. I am the 100%, 100% human. It is this message I came to share with you today. Show your loved ones, show your friends. We are the government, not them. We can't allow them to control our every action through fear and censorship. We must stand up for our rights as human citizens. We are human. We are legion. We the people do not forgive. We the people do not forget. Do not expect change. Demand it.